Hello everyone, welcome back. So in this video, I'm going to show you how to deploy Office 365 updates using the automatic deployment rules, or you call it uh, ADR. So as you can see here, I'm in software library, uh, software library, and then under Office 365 client management. So currently I have four devices that have different version of Office, <coughs> Office 365. So I have one version, which is the blue one is version 16.0.9126.2259. So what I'm going to do here, I'm going to create an ADR, automatic deployment rules. Click on that. Let's give it a name called Office Update, Office 365 Updates. Collection. I don't have any. Uh, let's do uh, Office 365 Client Updates here. I don't have a template, so I'm not going to choose Manage Templates. Collection, I want to target all my Windows workstations. So if you already have an existing software update groups, go ahead and add to it. But in this case, I'm going to create a new one. If you keep this running, it's going to keep creating a new one. Um, just for now, since I don't have a software update group yet, I'm going to, uh, let's see. I'm going to create, uh, add to an existing software update groups. Click next. I'm sorry. Um, so right here, you may, you want to make sure you check this box. It says choose whether to enable deployment after the rule is run for associated software update groups. When this software, when this setting is not selected, you must manually deploy the software update groups. So you want to make sure you check this box. Click next. So automatically, let's go. Let, let me go from the top. Wake on LAN. If you enable wake and wake on LAN in your environment, you want to make sure you check that box. So that way, wake up the computers. Detail level, I leave it as default, all success and error messages. And the last one here, some software audit group include license agreement. Software audit group choose to deploy automatically will not display any licenses agreement to you, regardless of whether the software update groups, or software update include a license agreement. You can review the Microsoft software update license term in all update lists and software update nodes of the console. So you want to make sure you automatically deploy all software update groups, all software update found by the rules and approve any license agreement. Check that box or leave it as default. Click next. Date release of revise um, last one day within the last one day or last within the last one month. Let's go with within the last one month. Click OK. Office 365 products. Just want to make sure it's anything that I missed there. Office 365. That looks good. Click Next. Run occur every one day after, well, the day is old, so it's going to occur right away as soon as um, I finish creating this. So run on the schedule, or you can set it occur every 30 days effective today. In this case, I'm going to run on the schedule. Click Next. So schedule evaluations, uh, client local time. 
software available time, specify where the software update, software update are available after the rule is run. Software update are distributed to the content server, and then the software update available to install as soon as possible. So what it says here, you specify the time, four hours, specify when the software update is available after it runs. So it's going to be available four hours after it runs. Click the next, uh, sorry, the, uh, the installation deadline, seven days. By default, specify a deadline required for software updates. A deadline is determined by adding deadline time to the installation time. When the deadline is reached, required by software update, I install a device and the device restart if necessary. I'm going to leave it as so if it's going to run today, it's going to install the next seven days. That's fine. Click next. If you have any maintenance windows you want to ignore, you want to check this box. And if you have special, um, special impact, gas impact devices, you want to make sure you don't ignore the maintenance windows. So in this case, I'm just going to, I'm not going to ignore the maintenance windows, leave it alone. Device restart behavior. You want to make sure you, if you want to suppress the restart, you can check any of these boxes here, servers or workstation. Right filter handler of an embedded device. That's fine. Software update deployment, re-evaluate behavior and upon restart. So if any update in this deployment requires system restart, run an update deploy evaluator a second after the restart. You want to make sure you well, you can check this box if you want to run an update, develop, and evaluate cycle after restart. You don't need to do that. I'm going to click next. Generate alert loop, uh, rules alert fails. Generate alert when the following condition are met. That's fine. I'm going to leave it the way it is. Operation manager alerts. I don't have operation manager. I'm not going to check this box, these boxes. Click next. Package. Let's see if I have any. I don't have Office 365 update package. I'm going to create one. I'm going to call it Office. Office. 365 updates path let's use one of the path here let's create a new path I'm going to call this let's put it under updates let's call this office 365 updates Copy that and paste it here. Enable by their different replication. You don't have to enable this. No deployment package. Client download the content from peer or the Microsoft Cloud. So if there's no, no deployment package, it's going to download the contents from the cloud or from the, um, the peers. Next, distribution point. Let me choose my distribution point. Click next. Download the software updates. Click next. Download software update from distribution point and install. Let's make sure you check that box. Click next. Oops. So you want to make sure you, you can check this box if you want. That means it's going to download the update from Microsoft if there's no contents available. Allow client metering internet connection. That's for client outside of uh, internet or outside of your network bandwidth. Oh, I'm sorry, the, your network environment. Gonna uncheck that. I'm not gonna check this box. Click next. 
ready to confirm make sure you look through everything and click next it's downloading the contents I'm sorry it's not downloading the content it's created the job so it's gonna download the contents when it's run the the evaluation updates so it hasn't run yet let's see let's go look in the automatic deployment rules here it is enabled yes last run success let me see if I can run now again so that's it that's how you um, create an automatically deployment rules for office 365 updates thank you for watching and don't forget to subscribe to my channel my channel will cover configuration manager Azure office 365 and anything related to Microsoft Cloud thank you for watching and have a good day